So late omnes, welcome to this video lesson on Colloquium Wicasimum, uh, the 20th dialogue to go along with chapter 20 in Lingua Latina Per Se Illustrata. And we are picking up the story today on page 60 at the top of the page where Symmachus, the doctor, medicus est, um, says, Ergo sanguis tibi super est. Therefore, uh, the blood is extra for you. That is to say, you have extra blood. Okay, so this has to do with humors and sanguine humor, red blood humor. Wisne me sanguinem mitere tibi? Do you want me to, normally mitere is send or throw, but here, do you want me to let your blood, we would say? Now, bloodletting has to do with um, basically bleeding somebody on purpose for medical reasons as some ancient societies did. Do you want me to bloodlet for you? And Diodora says, No lo perfecto! I absolutely do not want that. Yam satis dolet brachium. Already my arm is hurting enough. Satis. Eo modo, in that way, me sanere non potes. You are not able to cure me. And Simica says, Mene malum esse ma medicum putas? Do you think, putas, that I am a bad doctor? And Diodorus says, Imo, no way. Optimum te esse medicum puto. I think that you are the best doctor, a very good doctor, medicum optimum. Said hoc, quod me fesum actolentem facet, Nullus medicus potes sanare. But this thing which makes me tired and um, sort of hurt, hurting, this is a present participle again, notice the NT, no doctor is able to cure. And Symmachus then says, Quid es hoc quod a nullo medico sanare potes? What is this thing which is able to be cured by no doctor. And Idor says, Quod ego malus sum magister, that I am a bad teacher. Or you could also say, um, because I am a bad teacher, but I think that fits here, because the quotes in the previous lines are better understood as that. Okay, so what's the problem? That I am a bad teacher. Discipuli mei, my students, Male discunt are learning poorly, nec mihi parent, and they are not but obeying me. And Symmachus replies, Atque ego optimum te esse magistrum putabam. And I used to think, or was thinking, notice the imperfect tense with a BA, that you were the best teacher or a very good teacher. And then Diodorus says, Parentes id non putant. The parents don't think that. Neque igitur libero suos ad me mitere volunt. Nor therefore do they want to send their children, libero suos, to me. Simica says, quote, discipulis sunt tibi. How many students are there for you, to you? Another date of a possession. In other words, how many students do you have? And Diodor says, ad hoc quator. Up to this point, four, or till now, four. Said mox ii quoque me relinquent. But soon those two will leave me. Notice again the future tense with the e here, because that's a third conjugation verb, relinquo. All right, Simica says, Hur hoc metuis. Why do you fear this? Metuo meture, um, synonym for timeo temere. Why do you dread this? Why do you fear this? Diodorus says, Quia Julius pater tuorum discipulorum, because Julius, the father of two students, mox apistulam leget, will soon read, another future verb, a letter, apistulam, in qua scribo, on which I am writing, or in which I write, discipulum improbum ac pigrum esse eius filios maiorum, that his older son is a bad and lazy student. Id quod verum est, that which is true. Symmachus says, 
etiam si verum es, even if it is true, nekese non erat te id scribere, it was not necessary for you to write it. Certe Julius non minus eratus erit tibi, certainly Julius will be not less angry at you, quo tu filium eus maiorem nihil docere potes, because you are able to teach his older son nothing, quam mihi yames, then he is already uh, at me, that, that is to say, then he is already angry at me, quia ego non possum sanare, because I am not able to cure, filium eus minorem, his younger or smaller son. Of course, that's Quintus. And Diodorus says, Nesci ebom te eus familiae medicum esse. I did not know that you were the doctor of his family, or were his family's doctor. Sed cur filium julii sanare non potes. But why are you not able to cure Julius's son? And Simica says, Profecto possum. I absolutely can. Puer pede tantum ageres. The boy is um, hurt, he's injured, only in or with respect to his foot. Pede is in the ablative here. This is what we call an ablative of respect. It, it tells with respect to what the expression is true. So he's ill how? With respect to his foot. Atque etiam sine medico, and even without a doctor, smoke sanus erit, soon will be healthy. Neque igitur, nor therefore, ut nunc puto, as I now think, necesserat, was it necessary, sanguinem e imitere, to bloodlet for him. That is to say, remember, he bled Quintus, he cut his arm open and let some blood out. Julius dicit, Julius says, filium suum propter medicum, iam non solum pede, sed etiam brachio aigromese. He says that his son, suum filium, on account of the doctor, is now uh, hurt, aigrum, not only on his foot, or with respect to his foot, but also on his arm. Atque me esse malum medicum, and that I am a bad doctor. And Diodorus says, Noli id curare simache. Don't care about that. Don't worry about it, Simicus. All right. And Simicus says, Facile est hoc dicere. It's easy to say this. Said Julius me rursus arcesere non vult. But Julius does not want to summon me again to call me back again. Nec mihi mercedem meam dare. Nor does he want to give me my pay, or my fee, mercedem. And Diodora says, Idem Julius yam dicet. The same Julius are, uh, now will say, notice another future with the E, me esse ludi magistrum pessimum, that I am the worst pessimum school teacher. Neque mihi ex hoc die mercedem dabit, nor will he give, notice dabit is future, to me uh, my pay after this day. Sed ego id non curo, but I don't care about that. Yam nolo puros docere, now I don't want to teach boys. Ludum meum claudam. Another future verb, this time with the A and E future, because Claudio Claudere is third. I will close my school. Dum discipulos pigros literas et numeros docere conor. Conor, uh, synonym for tempto or atempto. Um, this verb is deponent, so it looks passive with the R ending, but it translates active. While I am trying, conor, to teach lazy students, letters, and numbers, nullum mihi tempus vacuum est, there is no time left for me, mihi, uh, for my books. Simica says, at quomodo tu vives sine mercede, but how 
will you live without pay? And Diodorus says, Ego neque uxorem, neque libros habeo. I have neither a wife nor children. Paulum mihi satiseis. A little bit is enough for me. Omnes res meas windam. I will sell all of my things, praeter libros, except my books. Etiam si nihil aliud possidebo. Even if, etiam si, I shall possess nothing else, no other thing, parvo bene viure potero. I will be able, notice the arrow future ending here, to live well on a little or with a little. And I think this means with a little bit of, you know, um, money. All right, Symmachus then says, Etiam ne vino carebis? Will you even lack? Carebis means to, to lack or do without. Will you even lack wine? And Diodora says, Sine kese erit, if it shall be necessary, future verb again, E-R-I, if it will be ne necessary, Aquam bibam, I will drink water. Dum bonos libros legam, while I shall read, or will read, future tense again, good books. Simica says, Quos tu bonos libros dices? What good books are you talking about? And Diodorus says, Multos bonos libros dicere possum. I can say many good books, said imprimis, but especially, or in first place, Libros Platones, the books of Plato, Inquibus, in which Socratim cum amicis colloquintim facit. He makes Socrates um, speaking with his friends. So that is to say, um, the Platonic dialogues are dialogues written by the philosopher Plato, uh, and many of them have Socrates basically as a character, and he speaks with other people in the course of these dialogues. And they're fictional, so thus he makes him speaking with the other people. So Socrates and some of the other characters are actual historical people. But um, Plato took some liberties, and it's basically historical fiction in a way. Somewhat based, in fact. All right. Simper delector, I am always delighted. Notice the passive ending. Cum lego, when I read, sermones y los clarissimos, those most famous or most distinguished um, conversations, or we could also say dialogues, and here we mean the Platonic dialogues. Quam quam multo sunt in iis, quae ego non bene intelligo, although there are many things, multa, in them, meaning in the dialogues of Plato, which I do not well understand, or do not understand well. Neque Aristoteles, discipulos Platones doctissimus, nor um, does Aristotle, the student, the most um, educated or most er erudite student of Plato, Seem to me, videtur mihi, facilior esse, to be easier. Yam vero, but now, epicuri libros legere incipiam. Incipiam, now I will begin to read the books of Epicurus. And Simica says, quis est Epicurus? Who is Epicurus? Diodorus says, Epicurus est philosophus Graecus. Epicurus is a Greek philosopher. Ut Socrates et Plato et Aristoteles. As Socrates and Plato and Aristotle. And notice here, Socrates, Plato, Aristotle, this is the chronological order of these, these guys. And then Epicurus would actually come after Aristotle chronologically. So Socrates was the earliest. Plato was Socrates' student and Aristotle. Aristotle was the student of Plato. If you put them in order, it spells spe, S-P, or sorry, not spe, yeah, spa, S-P-A, S-P-A, I'm saying it in Latin and English. Mixing languages here, S-P-A, spa, there you go. 
Socrates, Plato, Aristotle. All right, Symmachus then says, Ego numquam philosopum audio, out lego. I never listen to or read a philosopher. Cur tu philosopos graecus ita diligis. Why do you love uh, Greek philosophers so much? Ita, or in this way, you could say. Diodor says, quia philosopi, because the philosophers nos recte beateque vivere docent, teach us to live correctly and happily. No le putare, Simeke, don't think, Simicus, homini satis esse corpus curare, that it's enough for a human being to take care of his body. Etia mintim curare, opus est. It's also necessary, opus est, to take care of the mind. Neque id fiere potes, nor is this able to happen, nor is it able to happen, sine libris philosophorum, without the books of the philosophers. Is solus beatus esse mihi videtur, he alone seems to me to be happy or blessed. Cui non modo corpus sanum est, for whom not only the body is healthy, seretia main sana in corpore sano, but also a healthy mind in a healthy body. Now this phrase here about main sana in corpore sano, that's coming from the um, Roman poet Juvenal. Uh, sound mind in a sound body, it's often translated in English. All right, and we're coming to the last page of our story. Symmachus says, Ego beate we will, I live happily, blessedly, ac mentim sanam habeo, and I have a healthy mind, quam quam philosophos non lego, neque deus vereor, although I do not read the philosophers, and I do not fear or revere the gods. That is to say, he doesn't care much about religion. And Diodorus says, Epicurus docet, Epicurus teaches, Deus res humanos non curare, that the gods do not care about or have no concern with human affairs. So Epicureans were almost like atheists. Basically, Epicurus said, yeah, okay, so maybe there are gods, but if there are, they don't even bother with anything. They're like these like two-dimensional flat beings at the edge of the universe, and they have no contact with our daily lives. So you might as well just ignore, ignore, the, ignore the gods completely. Um, Simica says, ego puto, I think, nulos esse deus, that the gods are or sorry, that there are no gods. So Symmachus is a little bit even further than Epicurus. He's just going to say straight up, I don't believe in the gods. I'm an atheist, right? Tu ne yovim ceteros que deos vereres. Do you fear Jove? And of course, that's another name for Jupiter. And the rest of the gods. And Diodorus says, Non vereor eos. I do not fear them. Ut me docet. Epicurus, as Epicurus teaches me, so uh, that is to say, Epicurus teaches not to fear the gods, said Nescio Comodo, but I don't know how, multas res video, I see many things, quae incertum me faciunt, which make me uncertain. And this phrase, Nescio Comodo, I said literally, I don't know how, right? Um, but you can also translate that somehow. But somehow I see many things which make me uncertain. Si nullus es Deus, if there is no God, comodo sol et stellae movere possunt. How are the sun and stars able to be moved? Unde oriuntur venti et embres. From where do winds and rains arise? Quis fulgura tonitrusque efficit? Who makes the lightning bolts and thunder strikes? Simica says, Interaga epicurum magistrum tuum. Ask Epicurus, your teacher. And Dara says, Si epicurum recte intelligo. If I understand Epicurus correctly, haec omnia per se fiere dicit. He says that all these things, haec omnia, 
happen by themselves, that is to say through natural causes, interaction between the atoms, because Epicurus was one of the Greek philosophers that believed in atomic theory, that is that all things in our world are made up of indivisible particles which he called atomoi. And of course this is where modern atomic theory started off at and then of course we broke down the atom into further smaller particles too. But the basic idea there was in these early Greek philosophers. Praetaria dicit, moreover or furthermore, he says, ut ante eum Democritus, as Democritus before him, omnem rem, omnem materiam, efici ex partibus menemis, that everything, all material, is made out of the smallest parts, quae simper movintur, which are always being moved. And these, of course, are the atoms that I was talking about. And Democritus here, he is the first Greek philosopher to come up with this atomic theory. He's from the 5th century BC. Epicurus is from the 4th century after that. All right, ai particulae minimi, those very small particles, or par little bitty parts. Quae divide non possunt, which are not able to be divided. Graeke apelantur atomi, in Greek are called atoms. Now, in Greek, the word is actually atomoi, but when you turn it into a Latin version of the Greek word, it's atomi. Um, so this is a nominative plural. Simicus poculum tolens, Simicus lifting up his cup, says, inquit, quid, what? Etiamne hoc poculum, even this cup, ex minimis particulis constare putas, you think consists of the smallest parts, or particles, cum tam stulte loquores, when you talk so stupidly, non puto, I do not think, Mentim tibis anum esse, that the mind is well for you. In other words, that you have a healthy mind. This is another of those datives of possession. Diodorus says, ad hoc incertusum, I am still uncertain, said yam plura de natura rerum legam, but now I read many more things, plura, about nature of stuff, about the nature of things, and the nature of things is one of the ways you can say science in Latin, natura rerum. But now I will read more things about science. Apud Epicurum, in Epicurus, et apud Lucretium, and in Lucretius. And Symmachus says, quis es Lucretius? Who is Lucretius? Diodora says, es discipulus Epicuri Romanus. He is a Roman student of Epicurus. Sex libros eius posideo. I have six books of his. Quibus titulus est de rerum natura. To which the title is, or in other words, which has the title, um, de rerum natura. In English we might translate this as on the nature of things. Hic simicus poculum exauriens. Here, Symmachus, draining his cup, says, inquit, Bene vale. Be well, then. In other words, farewell, goodbye. Discipule Epicuri, student of Epicurus, said, Eo ipso tempore, but at that very time, Fulgur clarissimum, tebernam obscurum illustrat. A very bright thund uh, lightning strike illuminates the dim shop Sequinte tonitro maximo, with a very loud thunder strike following. This is all in the ablative. This is an ablative absolute, with a very loud or the biggest thunder strike following. Jupiter optime maxime, Jupiter optimus maximus, which means Jupiter the best, the greatest. Exclamat medicus perteritus, exclaims the frightened doctor. Dum poculum ei emanu labitur, while the cup slips out of the hand for him. We would just say out of his hand. Diodorus Ridens, Diodorus laughing, says, inquit, Vides ne poculum tuum constare ex particulis minimis. 
do you see that your cup consists of the smallest parts? And we can see it broken over here in the margin. So a couple little jokes there at the end. One, you know, he was saying, you're crazy because you think everything's made out of little parts. And then Diodorus is like, yep, there's the little parts of the cup. And then the other silly thing is the doctor had said he didn't believe in the gods. But of course, when he freaks out here, he says, Jupiter is the best and the greatest. So it's a little bit funny. All right. Uh, well, I hope you learned a few things in this video lesson and it made sense to you. Walete usquad proximum tempus. Goodbye till next time.